We want to talk about the difference between overriding, which we have just been discussing, and a similar concept that's often confused with it called overloading. To de demonstrate the difference for you, I'm going to overload two methods in the person class. So here is an example of me overloading, overloading. You can see that the goodbye method, the say goodbye method, excuse me, you can see that the say goodbye method is overloaded. If you're confused between overriding and overloading and they ask you this on a multiple choice question on your AP exam, here is the important nugget that you need to remember. Overriding takes place between two different classes. It takes place between a base class or parent class and its child class. When you override, the child class replaces some functionality of the parent class with its own functionality by matching the signature of the methods. Here, you can see that the child class, which is Australian, has replaced the greet functionality of the parent person method, which has its own greet method, right? It's replaced it with some new functionality by matching the signatures of the methods. In comparison to this, when you overload, overloading takes place in the same class. Notice that this method has been overloaded and it's all happening inside a single class. Here, the say goodbye method is overloaded inside the person class. What do you think you need to successfully overload? Mr. Borden, sir, what do you think is a requirement for successful overloading? Same name, and what about the parameters, sir? Do they have to be the same types or not? Okay, so here, here is the key difference. When you override, the signatures have to match. When you overload, the signatures can't match. So here, you can see that when I override, the signatures are matched. Here is greet with no parameters. Here is greet with no parameters. When I overload, yes, the names of the methods have to be the same, but the signatures are not allowed to match. Why can't the signatures match? Why can't I do this, for example, and, and have two methods with the same signature and the same name like that? Ms. Ria doesn't know which one to call. So look over here. You can see here. Now, what if I do this? Look, look, I go int s here, right? And then I go int n here. Is that okay now? Is that okay, Mr. Degouj? When you're calling this method and you're supplying it an int, the S and the N are only valid inside these methods. So these two methods still have the same signature. And so you can see here, this is still not okay. So therefore you can't do this. And so that will not be allowed. So in order to have a successful overloading, something has to be different. Now let's see if you are following, uh, uh, paying attention. Let's look at this sequence here. When I hit that compile button, Discuss with your partner if this is going to compile and if this is going to be a successful overloading relationship. Ms. Erda, what do you think here? Will this compile? It will compile. I've successfully overloaded because I have different signatures. So here I have the same method names, but the order of the parameter types is part of the signature. So this is okay. So it's a little bit of a tricky concept, but you can see here that I have successfully overloaded. Overloaded, same class, overriding, parent-child different classes. Don't actually know, let's see here. I suspect that it's going to be, I think it's not going to complain, sir, because here, uh, it, there should not be any ambiguity. Yeah, so it, it, the fact that you have different return types here doesn't matter because these are two completely different methods since they have different signatures. So that's not going to be an issue. This is overloading because the names of the methods are the same. If they have the same signature, it wouldn't work for two reasons. So because you can't have two methods that have the same name and the same signature, the compiler won't know which one to call. Whether they have the same return types or not, it still won't work, won't compile. So it, the, the, the definition of overloading is same name, different signatures. So they are different methods, yes. You can see here that this is a method. This is a method. The signature of this method is say goodbye int. The signature of this method is say goodbye int string. 